Hi guys, hi army familia, welcome back. Today I'm discovering a new era of BTS, reacting to a new album, their second one, Are You Late Too? I think it's pronounced that way. The only thing I know about this album is what I've seen in the rise of Bangtan. So I have like an idea but i don't know the songs so i'm here to listen to them we have a lot to watch today 13 videos i think on youtube and seven more on patreon if you're interested in that link is in the description you can check it out also if you're new subscribe like the video and follow me on instagram and twitter let's not waste any more time intro are you late too not the last forever you only live once. You're alone. So never be late to do what you want to do right now. Because at one point of someday, epic. Wow. We stopped dreaming. As children, we were dreaming, but then we stopped. 9 10. My life stopped, he said. Wow. A very powerful monologue by RM, Kim Namjoon. They really were trying to help people, the youth. Words of wisdom, I mean, we should all try to live like that. That's the life motto. And you know what's very interesting? This track is 1 minute and 11 seconds long. And number 11 is an angel number. It's a very good number if you see it. And interestingly enough, the name of this number is sometime the teacher, the illuminator. What is that saying? Namjoon is our guidance in life. <laughs> Maybe they did that intentionally. Because it also encourages positive thinking, the powers of manifestation. I think I'm onto something. <laughs> okay, only one minute in and I'm already on my philosophical thoughts. Um, that's BTS. Okay. N-O or no music video. It's with English as subtitles, okay. Oh, right. White star room. Very robotic. It's kind of creepy. Red pill, like in Matrix. Damn. There's actually a lot of symbolism here. Double spy We stand upon even our closest friends. And in choreography, he steps on the guys. Whose fault is this? <laughs> I always remember that part in the rise of Bangtan about Korean educational system. They're reveling! We roll, we roll, we roll, everybody change up. We roll, we roll. Ha! 
2019, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I should have watched this before. No, no, no. 2020. The the intro was in uh, 2019. Musical intro. Ooh, I like his rapping here. Uh -uh. Who takes care of me? Oh, that was in yet to come. God. Oh! oh my god, that was such a meaningful choreography here. They literally represented everything in this last part. Oh my god. Like how an individual will fight for his friends, for the community, but then the community will go and defend the individual and together we can beat the oppression. And a lot more to say, but you know, that's the main thing. I mean, the message of the intro here is continuing, but in a more concrete way, directly talking about the problems within the educational system and the society overall, then I wish more people would hear this BTS. I think their opinions would change if they would hear songs like that. If they have, you know, something to say. I mean, there's so much to talk about. Not only this song, but the music video. We, we could be here for a debate. But the main thing is, like, you have to find your own happiness, no matter how other people want to restrict you or dictate your life. Which I'm gonna find now a literal definition of the red pill and blue pill. The red pill and blue pill represent a choice between the willingness to learn a potentially unsettling or life-changing truth by taking the red pill or remaining in the contended experience of ordinary reality with the blue pill. And that's it. When you live dystopia, you don't know that. You're not aware of that. And a lot of people actually would rather stay in the dark. I mean, we all prefer to be comfortable and lie to ourselves that we are free than face the harsh reality. Because it's tough. You want to defend yourself against that. Damn, that's deep. BTS could lead a new world, honestly. Not even joking. I'd love to talk more, but there's there's a lot, guys, today. So let's go to the dance practice. BTS. Ah, oh, this old dance studio brings back memories. for the meaning in this sense. That is so 
good when he steps on them because in lyrics is we step on our friends to climb. Hey, sounds so good. That we roll is a great part to add because it brings a little bit of like flow to the song because there's like a lot in this song too. And that we roll is a bit like more catchy part, so it's actually cool. Oh. Choreography. That ending is everything. I really like that. Now we're gonna watch the live performance. Uh, we'll see if they'll dance. This is, I think, from 2020. It's so cool they performed this. Ooh. The audio is rough, <laughs> but okay. They're dressed super nicely. Jungkook rapping. Ooh, I barely hear them.
it's really um, cool to hear these older songs with their more current voices. Because different, it's different. They they sound different. Jimin and Tay, for example, especially. Yeah. It's more rock. time they did this no way they only did it here but uh, the only performance i found i think is the, the the one from mama which i'm gonna watch on patreon but i don't know if there they're gonna do it the same but oh my god i like i love this performance the audio is rough but i heard the instrumental and the way they change it I prefer even more the live version than the studio one with, with this type of arrangement, like musically. It's more like, you know, wow, that dance break at the end. That was so good. I would want to watch this again. Oh, guys, okay, let's go to We On, the next track. Hey. Namjoon. <laughs> Should I leave these? Like every day say I'm here for my music Here for my music Here, here for my music Whatever my haters say I'm real for my music Real for my music Real, real for my music Good I can eat it I'm going to spin on my boots 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 I'm going to spin on my bo
These are beautiful vocals. I love this part. He layers it with deeper voice. Keyboard barriers. <laughs> Jungkook singing I don't know you and you don't know me so please shut up Timeless and universal But Yoongi's rap This is like cypher Type of song <laughs> Jimin their voices kind of sound similar. Mm. Mm. Hair for my music, whatever my head is say I'm real for my music. Real for my music. Oh, oh, guys, I've never heard the title of this song. I never seen it like recommended or anything, and I think that's not fair. This song is savage. Imagine if they would release a song like this nowadays. Ooh, I would live for it. Ah, but also whenever I think that or say that, on the other hand, they already did that. They already have a song like this. They don't need like, you know, but it's... <sighs> we who listen to the songs years later, who discover them, actually want that. We, we want more to be in that time when they release that. But I would not complain. We still got that with the Run BTS and with their solo projects, like some spicy songs or lines. So, but this is like... Damn. I mean, as Namjoon says, Whatever anyone says, they are here for their music and that's all that matters. Critics will always be there and you'll never be able to please everyone. A lot of people look down on them and they remember those people. Like if you come to them later and say congratulations, praises or whatever, they see you, they remember you, they can forgive you, but they won't forget. <laughs> I think they're also kind of had this type of message in this song. In, in a couple of lines, they mention something like this. They probably seen a lot of hypocritical people even back then. Skit, are you happy now? Let's go. Is this gonna be the next song? Oh, oh, the beat! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Jungkook snoring? Cool. <laughs> Good morning. Rise and shine. <laughs> My question is, they randomly like filmed a lot of their conversations? Because this sounds spontaneous. This doesn't sound like anything planned. You really feel like you're there with them. It's kind of funny and cool that they released these 
I mean, they're so honest, right? Like a normal, normal conversations between them. So this is their thing, right? Adding these skits in the albums. I wonder if in the later ones we will have that. <laughs> it's a unique thing. Okay, I'm going now to If I Rule the World and we'll see if this is the song. Yeah, this is the song? If I rule the world, yeah. Interesting. Okay. 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 <laughs> The, this is interesting. That common response. I love the self-awareness or self-deprecation. Uh, I don't want to do things like that, stockings and gambling. Right? Right? I rule the world, so why would I dream small? That's a, that's a good line. <laughs> yes. Great for the live performance. <laughs> Line up. <laughs> I'll do it all. I said one for the money, two for the money. Why do I know already this? I can't help it. <laughs> That's, you know, I was actually thinking that this is probably not one of my favorites but then as th the song progressed the chorus is really catchy and that part you just want to repeat it so it's really well thought you know to go into your ear the highlight for me uh was actually this the co the chorus with repeating those parts and Jungi's verse i really liked uh, his part i think uh it was the best honestly what he said and basically they were talking about what they would do if they would be ruling the world probably nowadays their thoughts would be different and i'd be actually interested if they re-recorded this song with their current thoughts and wishes wouldn't that be cool and then we could like compare that would be actually awesome <laughs> yeah like a fun Fun song, great for the live shows to get the crowd involved. Let's hear coffee. Baby, baby, good Caramel The bass. Baby. I love how he sings that. <laughs> Look at their innocent faces and smiles. 
<laughs> They're romantics in this song. I like that guitar. Really sweet. I love how they pronounce caramel macchiato. Like dripping down. I love when Hobie starts his verse a little more suiting and then he goes into more like a rap rap, also that high note. Jimin <laughs> Such a good melody You hear all that background vocals with Jim in here. The first thing I gotta say, Jin didn't have any lines in this song, which is a shame. When I think about this, maybe the possibility is that he was still like learning and he didn't feel as confident in his vocals. The case might not be that they didn't want to give him lines, maybe he was more reluctant. It's a possibility. Now, I don't know, but yeah, I mean. The others sang it beautifully. Caramel macchiato. It's not many times I've heard them sing these type of songs. I mean, they obviously sing about love a lot, but not in that way. I feel like early albums or songs, they wrote more songs like this. Loving You was Caramel Macchiato. Breaking Up With You is Bitter Americano. They kind of set something like this in the lyrics, and that's a great... I mean, if you think about it, it's true that we associate moments, places, things, scents, tastes we experience with one person to them, you know? Like, we, we do that, we tend to do that, but it's a very sweet song, it's a very sweet sounding song. There, there's nothing sad or, you know, about it. So now when I hear Caramel Macchiato, I'm always gonna remember this song. There's no going back now <laughs> that's it i want to go to the cafe and listen to this song on a rainy day outside drinking some sweet caramel macchiato 
<gasps> I have to do that. No, I'm definitely doing that. See, now the next song is Cypher Part 2. I heard this and I didn't find like a live performance. We only have J-Hope performing this in Lollapalooza. I'm just gonna uh, skip it because I really know this song. So, you know. But the next one is Attack on Bangtan. Oh! <laughs> Oh, this song. So hot. Okay. If you don't know, get to know as well. The rise of Bangtan, of course. The other title for this is The Rise of Bangtan. La la la. No go. Ooh, John Cook in the second verse. <laughs> what? what more can I say? They knew. They knew they're gonna be on top. Ooh. Uh, I love that part. It builds the chorus so much. The anticipation to. Ready to jump? The strain? change and then that's probably German in the back Ooh, the intro is the same as outro rise fly this song is made to be played live i'm telling you this can really bring the energy up in the concerts it also like involves the crowd in a way you say bun tan you know it's great beat fun song them announcing their entry to the k-pop world praising themselves showing they're gonna rise rise and rise more and more so be ready for that and then we have this beautiful bridge which is such a nice change jungkook's vocals but also the lyrics like the lyrics in that hype 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 i'm gonna watch a live performance uh later so we can't wait for that now we have the dance practice <laughs> look at this studio now this reminds me of uh, where i was uh, dancing for a while 
This is gonna be fun. <laughs> They're already crazy. <laughs> A lot of backup dancers. <laughs> Look at them in the back. It's like he's controlling the dancers. Crazy with the song. So much. Set in the lyrics, we're stepping on our seniors' backs, or so something. I love how he does that, Yugi. Jim! Jumpy they are. Perfect. Who are we? This song deserves exactly a dance like this and a vibe like this. Nah, I can't wait to see this live. Oh, wild, wild. Paldo Gang San or Tori Rap. Did I say this right? I hope. Yeah, once again, the kids rap the same. 
지는 방탄소년단 Lego. 소강원부터 경상도, 충청도부터 전라도. 마, 마, 뭐라 카노? 마, 마, 뭐라 카노? 우리가 왕을 타고 전화한 게 우리 먼저 보러 허벌하게. 아직도 우리가. Oh, he's rapping or singing this. So fun. We've been known. Mm. Okay, so guys, I'm uh, watching a Patreon explanation video, so I'll probably not understand uh, this song. For foreigners, it's probably difficult to get a grasp for this song, but I'm just gonna enjoy right now. <laughs> Hobi is killing it! It's like they're communicating between themselves. Maybe in a in a different Satori dialect? What are you saying? <laughs> This part is so good. I'm so happy. 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 <laughs> he addressed them. Hey, you country boys. See, that's the difference. There's like kind of beef between city people and those who are not from the big city cities, like from the capital and and all the others. Like not beef, but how to say that even? Let, let me. I'm gonna try to think at the end. I have a soul state of mind. They are. <gasps> what are... Is this competition? Sounds so friendly. Oh, okay, but here's a twist. He's now saying it's all the same Korean. We're all looking at the same sky. <laughs> I feel like I could completely translate this song to my country. I loved Hobie in this song. They were all very goofy and fun and had great things to say and verses and I can't wait for the explanation video so I'm gonna know exactly. But Hobie, his delivery in this song, it's very entertaining, kind of different from what he usually does. Some countries probably don't understand how it is to have like many different dialects and like these differences, but I I can because I live in a country with a lot of dialects and like I said there's a certain um, more like jokingly a beef between like capital city or like that's like more sophisticated but there's also a great appreciation for this variety of language we cherish that actually like okay we make fun of each other right but really um, enriches the language, enriches the culture. We treasure the different way of speaking. 
say that of course they are playfully bantering throughout the song but then Namjoon says at the end that type of message like we, we're all the same and it's just kind of a fun aspect of our language of our country I love that and we have a dance practice for this so let's watch it This is so catchy, ma, 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 no. Oh, he says he's from Daegu and he, he's, he likes Daegu because he's from Daegu too. Loki Tay rapping. songs were so are so fun and they actually kind of have similar vibe in the choreography as well i'm glad they also have these type of songs or like uh, performances when they can be a bit more relaxed and just have a little bit more fun you know a bit more easier choreographies uh i just love that they came up with it this idea <laughs> uh they were beefing and then at the end they were like yeah, we're we're all the same. <laughs> okay, we, we have a last we have the last song which is Outro Love in School. Let's go. I 
R&B, old school R&B a bit. They're referencing their other songs. I just want to close my eyes. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, Oh, so this was all vocal line. Well, I'm glad they de dedicated this um, outro to the vocal line. They get their moment to shine and showcase their vocals. It was short, but sweet. Like I said, very old school vibe. It's amazing they incorporated the lyrics or the titles of their other songs on this album. Sweet ending. And I realized we have so many different songs, right? We have like socially conscious songs we have like a diss track we have motivational songs we have sweet love songs and we have fun uplifting let's go crazy songs you know they already showed so many sides of them this early on. I think that that should be appreciated, but it all connects to one project. Yeah, that was really fun, I think. And correct me if I'm wrong, this album is really underappreciated. I feel like it should have gotten in the past more hype when it was released. But, you know, now we newer fans can go back and listen so that's cool i still have a couple of more videos on patreon so i'm gonna go watch that but thank you for being here with me for going on this journey to discover eras or like discography see you soon for school love affair Did i said that right have a nice day army peace